Good afternoon. We are so happy that you are here. We vlog every single day. So if you like this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. Um, we are going to be staying home tonight. We have had a handful of busy days in a row. Um, and with us being so early in our pregnancy, we just want to be so aware that I am resting. Everything we've done this week hasn't been intense, um, but just want to be mindful, maybe stay home once a week. Um, and yeah, that's that. So today will be a home vlog. Alrighty, so I'm with Evie. She just woke up from a nap. You okay? There you go. Um, and I'm on the floor because I'm going to do some yoga. I actually, I'm still using the yoga channel, Bettina Ray. I think I've talked about that before. Um, she focuses on infertility and pregnancy and even motherhood. Um, and she has a great series about anxiety and the first trimester and all of that. And so I know we have a lot of people that watch us that might not know our full story and that's totally okay um but just like a quick re rewrite real quick um we have been trying to have a baby for over four years we can see i'm pregnant right now and we can see this child through ivf and we had a successful transfer last year that did result in a loss and so navigating this um pregnancy after the loss has been difficult i kind of talked about it yesterday in yesterday's vlog but didn't go fully into it um we are in the week right now of this pregnancy that we were in our last pregnancy when things started to go downhill and i've just been feeling quite heavy about it i have been good at taking it day by day but at the same time I really just want to get over that hurdle, over that um, that time of the pregnancy, and it's on my mind, but I also have been doing what I need to do to remain positive, um, but without like ignoring the fact that that is very real. And we had recently um, just been talking about how like this baby is not a consolation prize we are still very much so grieving the other baby and so it's like a really interesting thing to balance um, the joy but also the sorrow that is still there um, and so I wanted to share this yoga practice I'm gonna put the link in the bio or not in the bio in the description of this video um, just in case you are, have ever felt the same way or if you are interested in any of her videos regarding um, infertility, pregnancy, motherhood, or if you want to share them with somebody if you're not going through it yourself. Um, so I'm going to do just this light practice that's specific for anxiety in the first trimester and then get on with the rest of my work day. So that was short and simple and really good. Um, I wanted to say I am by no means an expert on mental health whatsoever. I just feel like being a human is hard and that a lot of us feel overwhelmed by a lot of things and you don't have to necessarily be going through the same thing as we are to relate to that. And I just want to thank you guys for letting me share my little corner of what I do to kind of um, just cope with it all. Um, so thank you for letting me share that. And hopefully if you either learn something or if you comment and you um, have any advice for us, that's great. Like we just love that we feel so connected with you guys and um, that we can share what we're going through. I'm home. 
I have to go on a run though because did you say I have a call? I didn't. I'm doing a, taking a work call tonight because uh, we're beginning to do some business in Asia. So we have a call with me and a couple other directors and managers with the team out in Asia at 7. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go on a run at 6.10 so I have to go Yeah, they go my run. miles. I'm thinking I'm going to go for 4. Okay. I just don't know if I'll be able to shower before the call Three or, or not. 4. 3 or 4. Maybe 4. Um, Be safe. Thanks. I'll be back. It has gotten hot again in Florida. It's like 90 degrees in my run. Four miles at an 8.56 pace. I have six minutes to shower and get ready for my conference call. What an evening. Right. This whole day. I know we're supposed to have like a relaxing night in, but it's been like deadline, deadline. I came home. Well, now what else do you need to do? Got home. Had to shower. Had four minutes to shower. Got out of the shower. Had to get on my call with Asia. Stop worrying about it. It's and then time had, to relax. Right. I just sent off my notes to my to my team from the call, so now I think I'm done. But we have nine minutes. This is the last timing thing. <laughs> nine minutes to do our, our shot because we're supposed to do our shot between six and eight, and it's right before yeah, eight o'clock. Nice. Sometimes I sometimes I don't. Yeah. Uh, it helps. So she ices the spot that we're gonna do the injection because <laughs> <laughs> it makes it feel less painful. All right. Time, well, we gotta do a couple things, but mostly now just relaxing this. And we're gonna eat. Look at this gumbo looking stuff. This looks delish. I think I'm gonna have a little Pepsi with this. Sarah, will you confess what you asked me earlier, which coincided with some emails that I got sent to earlier? Um, if we wanted a Star Wars marathon tonight. Which we're going to, well, this is where we're gonna start. So here we're gonna start Phantom <laughs> Thank Menace. You and Sarah's never seen it, and I haven't seen it since basically seen it. it came out. Um, I don't know when, though. Long, long time ago days. Yeah. But that coincides with some emails I got. <gasps> because I'm about to sign up for the 5 and 10K, I believe, um, with ACS. Because I was talking to my contact, and we'll do a little bit more explaining on that first, but I want to make sure this gets all set up. And then we'll talk about the ridiculous challenge I'm going to do that isn't running related. We're a, few, a little bit in. So this has been going on for quite some time. Which never happens. This dog definitely knows your baby in your belly. Yeah. It's so nice. You don't ever stop doing this. It's just saying, oh, when that baby comes, I'm going to do this with the baby. But it's back to parkouring off you guys. <laughs> also, I have never seen this movie. Oh, you, you know, you've confirmed? I've confirmed. I've seen, like, the famous scenes. I know the characters. I'm a fan of Jar Jar Binks. How much am I laughing at him? Yeah, he's, I think he's your kind of humor. He's, like, just the way he talks is so funny to me. And it is not a popular opinion amongst no. human society. Well, this isn't a popular movie. But Jar Jar Binks is the epitome to, like, Star Wars fans. They yeah. don't like the Jar Jar. I, I had a Jar Jar Binks beach towel for many years. <laughs> Secretly meant to be, well, not secretly, but another sign that we're meant to be. All right, so when I woke up today, did I think I'd be signing up for two Run Disney events? No. When I woke up today, did I think that I'd sign up for another ACS fundraiser considering we just finished grants and that we have our negotiations of figuring out details to do the, like our biggest ever imaginable. Did you wake up this morning thinking we'd do it? No. Neither did I. But sometimes these things happen, and all day long we've been like talking about different ways that we can fundraise this Star Wars, because our friend reached out to us and was like, hey, I got more bibs, what do you think, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, okay. And finally, like, Sarah and I came with a, with a fun idea. And the 5K is the only race Peter's never done, and so my mind, he needs to complete them all. I'm on board because I have no self-control, and I just really enjoy fundraising, especially when we come up with new ideas. And I'm really excited about this idea. We have to raise $750, and we thought to kind of drive excitement around that and to do something ridiculous for myself and to kind of give people who are local or on vacation a chance to come hang out with us because we don't ever pre-plan our days like that. Yeah. On March 14th, Saturday, next Saturday, right at Park Open 9 a.m. until 9.30 p.m., I'm gonna ride the People Mover for 750 minutes. So I'm gonna literally. And that that get, counts like being in line. Yeah, I'm gonna get on, ride it, get off, get.
get back straight into line. The only time I'll ever leave the line or the ride will be to go to the bathroom. Any food or nutrients I need, Sarah's gonna bring me. So, 700. I'll be there too, but maybe not the whole day. Yeah, yeah, I figure you'd come in the morning, maybe leave, and then come back. So, 750 minutes for $750. We're already at $86. Oh, great. So, that's a really good start, but. Serendipitous things happen that reassure you, and that's for sure what just happened. It was the world saying it was meant to be that you signed up for this fundraiser. So here's a bus outside. It's okay. We live in the city and get used to it. She also doesn't like my stretchy band because she thinks it's her leash. Also, I'm just kidding. She, she's a city girl. She is a city girl. But I just took her out for a walk and I checked the mailbox, and something that I don't quite, I have an idea of what it is because I was kind of asking around. I was kind of asking around um, our friends Kyra and Heather, who were here for Princess, about a, a new ACS singlet. So I have an idea if that's what it is. But we have a package to open up. Yeah. Evers, when did you get so fluffy? She's medium fluffy. Yeah. Oh, you're going to like this. What is it? We have... <gasps> oh. Wait, there's two. I saw Heather wearing this, and I didn't want to ask, but it's so cool that it's purple. Yeah. And it's embroidered. That's this is nice. Per this is so nice. This is for you. Thanks. And check it out. Ooh. A gray one. <gasps> I can wear both and so can you. So can I. I'm going to fix this one up right now. Okay. And then we got... Oh, great. Because we gave this away and then one went bad. Look at you investigating. Oh, yeah. These are all size mediums. A new singlet. Ooh, look, they got A6 on there. Nice. Ooh, A6. He was so intrigued. Another shirt. I think there's two wow. and two. Oh, I know. There's more than that. Oh, my gosh. Another A6 singlet. Yay! I'm, I'm pumped that these are A6 brand. That was such a nice package. I love this hat. <laughs> that was more than I could have ever. Yeah. We, like, um, what's, what's we have like an hour left of this movie still. It is one comfy puppy right there. All right, today is the fourth. Tomorrow's the fifth. But today's message for the fourth is by Mary Ann Redmaker. Courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is the little voice at the end of the day. It says, I'll try again tomorrow. Like I said earlier, tomorrow I work from home. Um, it's way later than I expected. We both fell asleep on the couch. So we'll have to finish Phantom Menace another time. Um, but tomorrow will be exciting day. I think I'm going to vlog a little bit during the day, even though I'm home. Um, and tomorrow we're going to the movies. Going to check out Onward, the new Pixar. Looking like a tearjerker, but looks like really good. So it'll be a Disney Springs kind of evening. It'll be exciting. Love you guys, and oh, March 14th, if we didn't say the details, in, down below there's a there's an ACS fundraising link if you could share it, or if you were so inclined to donate, we're raising a $750 in honor of the 750 minutes I will be riding People Mover over and over again on March 14th, which one of my friends just pointed out to me, it's pie day, so we might have to get some vegan pie up on the People Mover during one of the trips. Maybe at 3.14 p.m. I don't know. So if you're in the parks that day, I'll be on People Mover all day. Love to do a lap or two with you. Um, first time we're kind of announcing when we're going to be in the park and what we're going to be doing ahead of time. Not like a meetup, but definitely open to hanging out and everything. We'd love to meet you guys. So please check out the link below. It'd be an honor or we'd be humbled and honored um, by you sharing it or even donating. Um, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.